I'm the Oklahomans, Mike Sherman, here with our OU beat writer, Jason Kersey, talking about what Bob Stoops had to say. Bob talked a lot today about a lot of things. Start with Jalen Saunders, the wide receiver transferring from Fresno State, still waiting for news on him. Yes, uh, Bob said that they haven't uh, determined whether he'll be eligible this year or not. They filed a waiver to the NCAA, and we found out that there's really more to it than we maybe thought. You know, we thought maybe it was just his coach was fired, but uh, Coach Nor Jay Norvell talked a lot about how there are some personal things and there's some medical things, reasons why he transferred here. So they're still waiting to hear on that. Um, but apparently he had a big scrimmage on Saturday. So I know that he provides a lot of depth to the receivers, and, and if he is eligible, it would be really interesting to see how they split all that up. One of three or four main guys that Jay Norvell mentioned is a key guy in the slot people are looking at. Other news, Nila Casatati and the search for depth on the offensive line. Nila is playing and returned to action. Yes, Nila Casatati had a heart surgery uh, a couple weeks ago, and there was a lot of worry about that. But they said then that it wasn't life-threatening and that he would be able to get back on the field soon, and apparently he has. He's out there practicing, and uh, Bob Stoops said that he's doing everything and that there seem to be no complications. Finally, any little piece of news on Don Whaley is big from walk on to Sports Illustrated cover boy. And there was some news from him on scrimmage. Still looking for him to get out on the field. Yeah, uh, Don Whaley, they're still being pretty careful with him. He's still not practicing or he's still practicing, but he didn't scrimmage uh, with the team very much on Saturday. So they're still uh, they're still working him back in kind of slowly. And uh, like they said, you know, until he gets out there in a game situation, it's really going to be hard to know for sure. Here's what Bob had to say about all that. Uh, we had a. Uh about 100 and I think it was 102 play scrimmage the other day and it went really well. Um, I think the ones and twos got about 80 to 85 snaps and uh, I was pleased really uh, both sides of the ball. Um, I thought our offense for the most part didn't have many penalties and uh, took care of the football really well. Defense tackled better than maybe we usually do in the first scrimmage when you haven't done it much. Um, no one got hurt. You know that was positive, so uh, so it was a, you know it was good. I, you know the, I'm uh, some of the guys that see uh, you know the receiver group. Justin Brown has just been uh, is really fit in just wonderfully. He, he's uh, really doing well. He's a great young guy, works hard, and he he with uh, with Trey in there and and Kenny really makes it a solid, really good group. And the other guys are coming on. I'm really happy. It's a really good group of young receivers that are doing well. And um, uh, Jalen Saunders as well. If you know if he if he is able to be uh, eligible or not, we'll see. But so it's been good. The young backs did well. You know uh, those guys are doing a good job. Uh, you just kind of know what to expect, and there's not many surprises or anything like that. You know how to work. You know how to grind through these last couple of days. You know, so it's um, it's been good. And it's been a good camp so far. He's a lot more vocal. He's he's doing really well with leading the team, whether it's just on the field or off the field. But he, you can just tell he's more confident in his footwork. You know, his throwing motion. He looks really crisp, real sharp all the time. So, you know, he's he's one of those guys where he wants it to be perfect every day, and he voices that. So he's really doing a great job of leading, and he just, I mean. It was already really good, now it's just even better. So I think having a guy in the middle uh, certainly uh, helps. Um, it opens some things out on the perimeter as well. Um, you know, but when, when Ryan didn't have a guy that was playing great on the outside, all of a sudden he got a lot of bracket coverage on the inside, it became tough for him too. So ultimately, you gotta, you gotta have guys across the, the board that are able to make plays. Uh, Kenny's uh, played well um, when he's played inside. He's played well when he's been outside. Uh, some of the young guys that have been in the slot have played at a really high level and competed well and, and uh, seem to have a really natural feel for, for the position inside, which is something that's unique because there's so many bodies and moving parts in there. The interior, Gabe's, you know, really excellent. and then. Adam Shedd, I, I felt really uh, in the last half of the year, last year, probably the last three, four games, played as well as anybody for us in there and continues. And Bronson Irwin had a huge, is really ready to play and, and is doing well. We're obviously losing the other two guys. We're thin. Uh, so we hopefully can keep everyone healthy. And then, the, you know, the tackles are all doing well. Um, uh, in particular, the, the trio of... Uh, Lane, uh, Daryl, and Tyrus Thompson, and then and Derek Fournier continues to make strides, and and he's the biggest of all of them. 
So we're, we're, we're getting there. Um, we just have to keep them healthy. Are you getting Neela out on the field? Neela's been practicing. I should have said that. Uh, Neela has, uh, has been practicing uh, all this week so far and everything, doing everything and looks good and has, you know, looks, looks as good as ever.